All right, hi guys, welcome back. Uh, we're starting the game, and we normally play on fast speed, and so all my ships are now heading out, and uh, we're gonna have a grand old time. How are you doing, Pat? No, I'm, I'm doing great over here in my safe space. Uh, yeah, is that, is that your uh, your people's name? Uh, and space? trust me, you'll find out when you meet me, which should be soon if uh, my exploration is right. Hmm. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm right now heading out in all directions and exploring the galaxy. Yeah. I got all my ships just like spewing everywhere. All right, we got our next science vessel that I was making last time. Oh, I, I'm fucking. Oh my god. Uh, Yoshi's Island uh, is uh, in an uproar following the news of unidentified ships sighted in the void. Their intentions are unknown. Be prudent to uh, assume the worst. So I forgot I have to actually read some of these for you guys so you know what's happening. So we've already discovered, I guess, what is our first uh, alien species, and that's Pat right here. It's gotta yeah. be me. There's no way. It's, I'm over in Tazarad and Suya. Su yeah, that's it. Suya? That's where. Yeah. That's where. Yeah, yeah, that's totes me, bro. Anomaly found. Oh, there's a failure risk of uh, sixty percent on this anomaly. So, I'm occasionally when it's research you, uh, the science vessels will occasionally find something, and there could be some kind of bonus, but there's a high failure risk of this one, uh, which means either it fails or maybe someone just like. Uh, maybe your scientist dies. Is that's like the worst case scenario? Or so if you're me, you accidentally activate a time travel paradox and you fuck everything up. Yeah, which there's happens. A, there's a lot of interesting shit that can happen, uh, and there's also another tropical world right over here. Nice. Yeah, dude. I start my my start area is I got like four like habitable planets in a row. Yeah, that you know that Col Colum planet there, that has uh, a planet that has a tropical world for me. And, a, and an alpine world for you. We're gonna have to fight over it, bitch. <laughs> hey, there's Rogunia. Ah, oh, you yeah. are really close to me. Holy shit! Complete. Which one are you in? I am slightly. I'm south and just a smidge to the left of you. Uh, are you in Kal Kalam? Kalam. Which? What's the what name? Fuck you're... is Kalam? I don't know. It's fucking relative to you. Whatever. Fuck it. Whatever you're, you're gonna find me in a minute. I'm researching you. It, it'll be, it'll be all right. Yeah, we're we're doing research. So we're gonna be part of a grand federation. Oh, uh, of course we have these things to do. I'm gonna make some mining stations now. Uh, unless I have this coming soon. Ali Ma, Mike. Ali Ma. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring this, this guy onto this guy. I, I, I want more uh, unity. Uh, it's gonna take 12 months. So we're gonna just make our first mineral station first. So we're doing that. So, uh, one of our systems has been uh, explored, and we've retrieved artifacts from ancient civilization. Uh, what we've learned from these artifacts is correct. Uh, from what we've learned from them is a civilization was some sort of confederation that consisted of many alien races that call themselves the First League. A pair of coexisted in relative peace two, mi two million years ago. And then we came and fucked it up, I guess. Uh, so it's an old race that was around here, and so... What were the names of the people that everybody was studying in Mass Effect that they had the obelisks made out of? The Reapers? No, 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 the Reapers were the bad guys. Fucking Jarvis, or whatever his name was, from Mass Effect 3 was part of that race. What, what was the beacon you touched that was, like, super, like, gave, like, uh... The Forerunners super... or something? I don't know. Yeah, whatever they were called. It's basically okay. what they, those guys are. Yeah, are, we, are you saying we're, we're going to Reaper everybody, or what? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> we are the Reapers. His name was Javik. Prothean! The Protheans! Prothean, that's it. Yeah, okay. I had a um, Google it. A partial map was found along the artifacts that indicates that the First League may have covered a significant portion of our galaxy Situation before the eventual collapse. Updated. So that's kind of neat. Uh, we have precursor artifacts that we have to grab, which is a mission that we have to do, but it's a very simple one. So we're going to continue to, um, I guess we're going to look at all the, the local, whoops. Oh, that, oh, that, that took no time at all, actually. Okay, I'm going to queue these guys up to basically survey our galaxy first off. And we're still paused. Uh, yeah, no, I, I just, I, I got a couple planets here, Pat, by the way. I got like one, two, three. Yeah, but one I, of them I is really close to you. Same. Yeah, but one of them is close to you. Which one? Kalam. Oh yeah, dude, that's actually in my space. Okay, then so. we fucking lost, boys. Fucking lost, boys. Fucking lost. Oh, there's there fucking that safe space. From the great safe space. Alright. 
And he's apparently an ugly fucking starfish people. Blast Wolf will burn Xeno heretics. So we've encountered alien life for the first time and it's shaking everything. Yeah, we don't care about the beta menace. That's another unidentified race. So, uh, leaked footage of these bizarre creatures are spreading through the media outlets across Rio <laughs> Many, <laughs> Many citizens are gripped by panic. Rioting has been reported in several cities on Yoshi's Island. The strange Zeno appear to be uh, have achieved a level of technology similar to our own, and they are clearly sp spacefaring. Whether they regard our st species with fear, hatred, or cold indifference is anyone's guess. Well then, Pat. Wow, you have very low expectations. Yeah. So we're going to do some research agreements with Pat to start us off with. Because we're friends. So there's no reason not to. Yeah, there we go. Construction. Expanded out your map a little bit. Yep. Well, because Pat has FTL, I can do this. Oh, you System saw gamma, the Gamma Menace over there. So there's some ocean worlds here that I can actually land on, but... They're not the nicest planets, but there's actually a really nice, uh, this planet's actually really good. We need to survey this planet. System survey complete. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna check out all the green planets because those are the best habitability and the best ones for us to take er, er, this early on. Except this tropical world is fucking 13 tiles, so I don't even want to take it. What's this one? At least really? we have a 22 tile one nearby. All right, what do, and I want, I want more minerals too. Essence. Oh wait, no, essence. I'm the one after essence. Yeah, you're the you're the essence fucking person. All right, so we can also do a habitable world survey because we're gonna go find some habitable worlds in the Situation galaxy. Sure, that sounds updated. good. You get some nice rewards after it. I always do it. I like it. Situation log updated. All right, and we got another, an some other strange vessels that we don't know of as well. On top of that, so okay, but this is our base our space here. It's not so bad. We're pretty good off. Uh, we can we can continue to kind of look around. It's our space. I I mean we're ver I'm actually very fortunate right now because um, I could easily get cut off by some giant anomaly or some some bullshit that would be a, a very large problem for me. But uh, we found nothing of the sort. Like the way Pat sees the galaxy right now is very different to the way I see it. I, I see it, it as really like uh, I see it as lanes. Like for me, it's like oh, I, I don't know if I really want to go down here. But Pat can just get Pat just fucking goes right there and he's fine. Yeah, I can just jump from planet to planet. It takes a little longer to go that way, but I'm not limited. In it. I'm just pausing the game for a sec because we have our first uh, prosperity point. This is something new as of 1.3 for Unity. Uh, we get tradition. To, I sent uh, tradition. Yeah. So um, does this look familiar at all to you guys? The fucking five things you can put it into? Yeah, it's basically like Civ 5. So, uh, long story short, expansion is very good for starting new colonies. Uh, we may do that, but we probably won't, to be honest. Uh, not until later in the game. Domination is very good for uh, indirect war, I would say. Uh, because all the things you, are, you do are related to subjugating other empires. Um, prosperity is good for mining stations and, uh, like basically getting a lot of resources really quickly. Harmony is good for happiness of people, uh, as well as... Who uh, needs happiness? I have chicken nuggets. <laughs> yeah, uh, Pat, Pat doesn't care about this. L this literally here to him is nothing. It's worthless to him. So it means that, like, uh, like you defensively you're much better, leader lifespan is higher, things like that. Uh, supremacy is direct war, uh, so you want to just kill everything. This is the best one for you. It's actually really nice. Then you have diplomacy. Diplomacy is if you want to be, make peace with everybody. Uh, it's a pretty, it's a pretty good one actually. And then you have discovery, which is uh, all about researching and getting research bonuses and things like that, which is also really nice. Uh, so, what we're going to start off with is we're going to start off with. Um, we're gonna start off with prosperity because uh, we have we get a major bonus to uh, minerals and things like that. So uh, that's what we're gonna focus on. Except there's like no minerals in this system. It's just energy constantly. But it does mean that if you noticed, this was 90 before this mining station. Now it's 60. So that's kind of nice for us. And we're gonna keep looking around. So you're gonna take that Kalam world, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I it's would... it's in it's. In my, yeah. it's literally in my space, Mike. I hate to say that. Yeah, it's yeah. not, it's not in your space yet, bitch. If I, if I go up into the delta, uh, the delta pavoras, pavonis, whatever, this is going to be horrible because everybody's gonna be like, it's not delta pavonis, it's delta pavonis. 
I, it's going to be within my borders. It'd be horrible for you to take. Signs of activity by an ancient uh, precursor civilization on unhospitable uh, rock. So we're going to research that because there's no chance of failure with that. So uh, we're going to do that. I'm going to remove the rally point on this planet. The rally point needs to only be there. Rally points is where your ships go by default. So, I mean, I'm kind of shit out of luck with the amount of plants that are hospitable. I mean, there's continental worlds and shit that are nearby, uh, which is fine. The yellow ones mean that they're kind of similar to my race, but uh, to the plants I would like, but yeah. And uh, now we discover the... One second. Volition Covenant or something? Well, it's time he's... Uh, yep. Our blasphemers will burn, heretics. And he's just to the left of Pat. Well, he's, both, he's just to the left of both of us, really. Uh, well, yeah, I guess so. Oh, there's some nice plants actually over here. Tropical, continental world. Okay. Hey, Mike, guess what kind of planets he settles on? Uh, the continental. The continent. Yeah, it means I can I can inhabit those. It means we need to go over there and kick him in the balls. But Pat, we're peaceful, warlike people. A peaceful, warlike people. Mike, you got a tournament to action. <laughs> Are we, are, is he going to be food or is he going to be uh Is it basically is he chicken nuggies, pal? Uh, I don't know. He he doesn't look like he's a chicken. He looks like a sloth thing. So there's a Whoa, naval base the here. So I, I've gone I've gone pretty far out here to see all the places because what we're looking for is like uh, this is a decent planet to inhabit, but not the best that we can do. Uh, the yellow ones, the green ones are really good. The, the green icons you're seeing. So this one right here is going to be excellent to go onto. Very, very nice planets. And we're still doing research. Research for literal days. All right. Uh, so we have met a, a curator enclave. Uh, this is a curator. So they're basically a, a race that's long gone. Uh, they just inhabit a space station and then they. Well, they, they literally tell you, our ancient order was established eons ago by various galactic powers. In ascendancy at the time, we were dedicated towards preser preservation of all knowledge. In an effort to safeguard the galaxy from descending into yet another dark age of mass extinctions, we failed. Few of us remain today, but we are no less committed to our sacred mission than our predecessors were. They're willing to share uh, some research with us, basically. And so this is um, signs of battle. So the one of the little special products I was doing here, the, one of the anomalies. Um, it's clear evidence that a massive space battle took place uh, in the close orbit of N Nimbus 3, or N Nimbus, uh, at some point in the last 5,000 years. The surface on one side of the planet is potmarked with craters from stray weapon blasts, and scans from the rail fuck uh, de Dextremia uh, have picked up several hawks on the ground. <laughs> this is basically an, uh, an old... Um, uh, an old uh, battle took place there, so we're gonna Situation look through the. We're gonna shift through it for any decent uh, technologies, but we need a science skill of five or higher. So that's gonna take forever. That's gonna take like hundreds of years. Yeah. So and it looks like both these ships are basically done. So, uh, so we're we're done basically scanning our system. So we're gonna go and take these two. So. Usually when you see exclamation marks on the map, that's usually an enemy or something. Like this, right here. That's a good one. Alien Menace is there. So those are systems I really shouldn't go towards. They kind of cut me off, and it's kind of difficult for me to go through them. But, uh, I mean, it's just like, basically I don't want to expend in that direction is essentially the problem here. So I'm going to survey that system. Alright, we can keep going. Is there any kind of fucking minerals I can get at all? I mean, there is some on that planet. So we are extremely mineral starved, but I'm gonna make a colony ship actually pretty much right away. And we've we've uh, met the fucking bug-eyed race. Yeah, they're, dude, those guys look like they have an anus on the head. <laughs> they're free republic. So they're fanatic militarist xenophobe. So they're kind of me. <laughs> so we'll go keep out of our way, or we'll make you. All and right, he's literally right next to us. Uh, we gotta kill him. Uh, I think we do. Yes. That's like, the other he's, guy. He's first on our list. He's going to be an asshole, and a bigger asshole than the one he's got on his forehead. A <laughs> bigger asshole than the one he has on his forehead. He's he's on Alpine Worlds, world, so he's good for you. Oh, yeah. Gonna make some fucking... Fucking chicken nuggies. Are you okay? You cut out there for a second. Ah, oh, there you are. Yeah, I just oh, did on Discord. I forgot we're on Discord, shit. 
totally ruined let's play ruin uh we should probably go to mumble actually forgot about that we always use uh actually i'm not gonna i'm not gonna build anything yet here i need to do the station first you want to go to discord actually that's right okay. not to mumble. Yeah, yeah yeah mike let's go to fucking raid call yeah let's do that my bad uh, Kalima. 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 What? I was wondering why you were like quieter than usual. Because uh, usually we always use Discord for recording LPs, but nobody knows that. All right, we have another anomaly here. Large amount of shift debris can be found in orbit. Some kind of massive fleet action. Yeah, sure. We'll just uh, we'll start that up. Damn, I'm just gonna fuck with the sound levels of this entire thing. You've caused so many problems for me. I'm, I'm happy to have helped, Mike. Yeah, you said it's that's much better now. I think I should wait until I get ship cost reductions before I make the the ship. So you know what? We are gonna actually go and make a. Usually I make much more stations before before now, but we've gotten really unlucky actually. We are surrounded by people, by the way. Which is good. Well, you know, I did add more AI to the game. That's true. Situation. So what you're seeing is just a part of that. You're seeing is just my normal state. This is to go even further beyond. Uh. <laughs> Fucking beta alien menace, piece of shit. Wait, is he is he fleeing? No, apparently we don't care. Oh my god, himmel. Anyways, I'll do some early warring. That sounds good. I'm gonna put the game up to fastest for a minute then. Incoming. Here's some star charts. Situation Bless you. Update. Thank you. I mean, I don't think you've taught me anything new, really. Uh, all the shit to the south should have. Oh fuck! I'm now <clears> cut <throat> off from my own space. What do you mean? Uh, <clears throat> I have to go all the way around. All right. I met some butterfly people. They're also militarist xenophiles, though. They love people, but they love to kill them. We love people. No, we love war, but we love. I, I don't know. There's a joke there. Fuck it. System Where are they even at? Oh, they're just over there too. Fucking hell. So, yeah, that's gonna be fan friggin' tastic when we get to that point. My I think favorite. you mean fan fucking tastic. There's also the uh, a fallen empire directly to the south of us. Oh, uh, I haven't met them yet. So, fallen empires are very technologically advanced uh, people, and. Um, Basically, we can't fight them, and it can trigger certain endgame events, which is really fun, so we'll see what they do. They're basically like, we cannot hope to fight them, we shouldn't even deal with them. Alright, so we're going to take standard construction templates, so we get uh, better ship costs. Which means that my colony ship now just dropped by basically like 50 uh, minerals, so that's kind of nice. The good, so. news is, the good news is that this Fallen Empire down here is a, uh, a knowledge-based one, so they're not going to be very aggressive, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> why, don't you like, why don't you like my knowledge, bitch? He's gonna, he's gonna fucking shove everything in their faces, you know. Yes, yes, Mike. Yes, they will. Uh, let's see Yoshi's Island. What do I have for surface bullshit here? We're gonna need some more food, though, so we should start <clears throat> working on that. I'm wondering if I should get the tile blockers or if I should just deal with it right now because uh, on these plants if you notice that there's some dangerous uh, tile blockers yeah because I want to do I want to do early warring so we're probably gonna try and do that anomaly found. Yeah, research research that anomaly um, yeah I don't know what what I'm gonna do here but this is gonna be very much a mineral planet by the way guys because uh, we're so short on minerals uh, that's not even funny don't you fucking laugh anybody not um, funny um, is it not funny no it's really not because like I, I'm getting like 13 per turn and nothing else. Yeah, you you have a problem with that too. Although the one planet that you have there is nice for that and it has it. Uh, just a little bit. All right, a large prison com um, complex has been discovered on PF4. Also, the world has served as some sort of maximum security penal colony for the first thing. Uh, you said We're penal. So much of this, yeah, I know. Uh. So, we, there's like a penal colony there. It's great. Mike, Mike, for the love of God, stop saying penal. Penal, 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 penal. Oh. 
Suck my penal. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm fucking 12 years old, apparently. I'm sorry. Yes, you are. This is a, this is a mature space fucking eating shit game. Eating shit? Mike, I have a court order that says you can't eat shit anymore. Alright? You can't eat shit anymore. Construction that's, complete. That's that's fantastic, Matt. Thank you. No, no problem. I think uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna make one of these. This guy, he's gonna I think uh, he's gonna do this anomaly actually. Or yeah, they both have forty percent chance actually. I would rather have a better chance at that. Construction complete. All right. System survey. We complete. just met some kind of dog people or something. One second, there's some shit going on. So we met uh we met another military ev dude. Everyone is a fucking yeah, militarist in this fucking place. Which All one right. did you meet? The United Zell Tank block? The, the Heralds Mac of Death. The, yeah, the Heralds of <laughs> I know, yeah. Dude, dude, look at their opinion of you. Look at look how their opinion starts. Uh, I don't know. I'll go boss words will burn, you know, heretics. <clears throat> one second. Uh Lar revealed that a planet was a homeworld of insectoid cal calamity. This is this is some more about the forerunners that were here before. Or the first league. Area served as a both a mating ground and nature reserve. Situation log update. Okay, so where where's the asshole that we just met? Bot, uh, bottom right. Holy bottom left. Shit. I mean, Zeno filth negative one thousand. Yeah. Zeno filth guys. He's racist. All right, let's go inhabit our first planet here. Colonized planet. Uh, I guess we'll go right here. Yeah, we're gonna have to deal with those tile blockers later. Let's go call them minerals. Because that's all it's going to be for. Literally, that's all it's going to be for. Construction complete. Uh, what was it going to do? All right. So some other things that I'll show you some here. So I, my population here is affected by happiness, which improves their productivity. And I'm going to just do that anomaly right there. Now, Pat's people on safe space in, in the hug box, uh, he doesn't get happiness because he's a hive mind. He literally doesn't care about anything. Basically, we have the ultimate in thought police technology. We don't care about your happiness. <laughs> He's the best. I'm gonna go survey that system. Research complete. All right, we have battle wreckage from the first league. Another fleet took a, a, a great battle between the great navy of the first league and another fleet took place not far from here. Gravity wells since captured much of the debris. So we're constantly finding uh, debris of, of battles that took place uh, many, many miles uh, years ago. Coil guns! You know what coil guns means, Pat? Basically, rail guns. <laughs> Basically, rail guns. Now, now I feel like the, the music is now too loud. Did I actually change the music back? No. I can probably just change the settings here, actually. There we go. That's what I need to do. All right. Now to debate what we're going to do next. I guess I'll survey some of the systems around Research here. Complete. We got monthly influence. Oh, here we go. We can get some better Oh food. shit, I got Blood genome range. mapping already. Food would be pretty nice for us because uh, then we don't have to deal with uh, food early on. And I'm also going to take... I'm going to construct a... Probably I'm actually a research found. station first. Fuck you, Mike. I'm so happy. I'm a, that's unreal. Yeah, I didn't get it at all at last game we played. It's fucking awful. I'm, dude, I know, right? <laughs> Warp drives, Mike. Warp drives. <laughs> so the colony that I'm uh, establishing right now just takes eight, ener eight energy out every month. Uh, nothing I can do about that. It's just going to have to take the eight energy and that's it. Um, this is the nature of the beast. I think I'm also going to have to deal with uh, this planet and allowing for some expansion. Uh, probably maybe some more food actually. So we're gonna we're gonna clear out some of the slums that our people apparently left off from our uh, our, our our development as a species. So there's some bones here. A colossal single alien life form. It's been dated four three point four billion years old. Situation okay. log updated. So there's some more things that we have to research, but our people aren't good enough at that research kind of stuff. So complete. we can't do it. All right, we completed research speed increases, so we can do. Oh god. The b birth of space piracy. Uh oh. Several attacks on civilian shipping in our space in the last several months. The perpetrators appear to be deserters and other renegade elements from Yoshi's Island. These criminals have put together a makeshift space fleet out of the heavily modified civilian hulls and now call themselves Grim Souls. Although crude, their vessels are a clear threat and cannot be ignored. Alright, we're gonna destroy them. Uh, Mike, I, I could have given you my technology just to, you know, thought police technology, but, you know, whatever. Yeah. 
the Thought Police. I'm gonna modify my species to basically be like a... I'm gonna make everyone come home now. Because uh, we have a problem of space piracy. So, there's gonna be space pirates somewhere that are- Are they space Haitians, Mike? They, they, they must be. But yeah, so this, we have we have a space Tile piracy Walker problem cleared. now. Tile blocker cleared. I'm probably gonna just make more food over here. But actually, I need to focus more on making some sh vessels though. So we're gonna make Corvettes. And we gotta get up to good technologies for, uh, for weapons. So, because it's space pirates, they generally are... They use your own technology, because they are actually technically your own race, and they just went to piracy. And here they are right here. There's a... Z Zaraxium, no! How could you? How could you portray your own race? Construction complete. So we can probably actually start killing him very soon. Uh, I'm gonna wait for one more Corvette to come out, and then we're gonna fucking war him. War who? Well, they're fucking after my shit. Right now. Who do you think I'm warring? It's my own people. Oh, I, I, was, I was hoping it's System your own people. Complete. It's my own people, yes. They're, become, they're being pirates. Alright. So what we're gonna do is this fleet that we have here, we're gonna remerge it together. Over here. So, uh, where is the fleet? I don't know, I don't know what the fleet is. Uh, I guess this is the fleet. This should be a rally point, actually. You know, it's kind of pissing me off how much you say fleet, actually. Mining station fleet, 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 fleet. Oh my god. I just realized that they all had a rally point to somewhere that's retarded, actually. Unfortunately, he's uh, right now killing my fucking shit that I just worked so hard to build. But he's got a 176 power fleet, which only uh, refers to their attack power. It doesn't refer to anything else like... Uh, defense. Defense, yeah. So it, it can be very misleading. But they use, generally speaking, just the same technologies and everything as you do. And is there some new upgrades? No, there's not. System survey so we need to have uh, the finest admiral to lead this fleet. And weapons range 10%. That's pretty good. It means we get to shoot first. Where's uh, this guy? Anomaly and found. the military station here. Well, that means that's where he's coming from. Station lost. I fucking hate this guy. All right, what what should be our fleet name? The Grand Railgun. Are you there, Pat? Yes, I am. I'm just sorting all of my starfish by the color of their skin. Okay, we are fighting this guy. We're not letting him take that. Uh, let's see here. We have building up. Maybe I should do supremacy now. No. Let's do ship upkeep reduced. I don't want to do expansion yet. Hostile fleet. Actually, we could we could do expansion. That means we'll start with an additional pop So Yeah, I guess we'll do expansion now. Uh, attempting to evade them. Yeah, one of one of our ships is trying to evade them. Uh, the fleet that's around. Fossils appear to, um, from what appears to be several species of aquatic animals, have been found on the barren surface of SPO something something something. Indications that the surrounding astro boat was created. From the remains of a shattered planet. Ooh. Uh, and uh, judging by the fossils, the planet was at least partially covered in water. Oh, that's kind of neat. Alright, so let's. Uh... Actually, the guy, the guy doesn't have to go anywhere because they already left. I think they're done piracying. They, they downloaded all the movies they wanted, Pat. It's fine. 